so excited to be here today. I'm in sunny California with Kathleen. Yay. We're so excited. <laughs> Lisa is here too. She's not, she's not on the live. We had to kick her out today. It's There's no right. room in here, right? No, <laughs> we're squished. We're squished. Now, what is your favorite, well, least favorite household chore that you have to do? I know. I don't know. What is your, like, we're going to have a fun project today, actually, that addresses one of the household chores that that maybe you like to do or hate to do. Hate. You hate? Hate. I love. Like, mm -mm. out of all the chores, laundry is my favorite. No. <laughs> I, I do not like laundry. That is, like, my, my biggest thing. I have a family of four, and I can never keep up with laundry. Is anybody else that way? So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to be making, <laughs> funny story, a laundry sign today. I have this beautiful piece of wood. Let me turn it around for you guys to see. I love it so much. You know, you have the little oval on the top with the sides. I just love it. It fits the laundry stencil absolutely perfectly. Hey, Renee, I see you getting on too. Where did you get that? This one? Yeah. Um, Dollar Tree. Oh, wow. They really have some cute surfaces. Yes, and now, I guess it's not the Dollar Tree. It's the Dollar 2553 five, Tree, something <laughs> like that. So I picked it up there. And what we're going to do with it is I'm going to start out by distressing it and then putting the laundry stencil on there. And then we're going to like totally embellish it. How we're gonna, cute. Yeah, we're going to put like little beads, little bows, little clothespins. I'm really excited to get started. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Are you See ready? what you do. Maybe I learned something. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just have some regular chalk um, paint here. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And it's going to take it a second to get there because I use it so much. Like this is my favorite thing. <laughs> now what is this that you're putting on? Chalk paint. Just some folk art, home decor, chalk paint. I'm just doing an, a white because I'm going to give it that little rustic distress look. And I use it a lot, so it's going to take it just a second to get out of there. There we go. Okay. And then I'm just taking a regular foam brush, and then I'm just going to start painting it. I want, like, basically everything that I see that's the wood color to become white. So cool. It will be cool. Yeah. Oh, while wow. Crystal's putting some of the chalk paint on the design, I, can I show them the thing we made? This yeah. Is like, um, yes. We're getting excited planning the rest of the year, you know, because summer and fall and Christmas is going to be here before you know it. we got to get all those craft projects planned and yeah. ready to go. But we actually had a planning meeting, but we also did a fun make and take. Look at how cute this little banner is. This is a little, I know, look at, you're so cute. Um, we did this up in Santa Clarita yesterday. We had a, a group and uh, we made the Be Kind banner. And I love what Lisa called, this is the hot mess. We just did two colors and put it on our stencil. It came out so cute. What do you guys think of this? Um, you can actually get both the banner and the boho rainbow stencil from your creator on our website. And then we just made these cute little pom-poms and tassels. Yes, so and those cute. were so cute. And who's going to get it? Oh, I don't know. Who are you going to... Oh, Lisa. Lisa was giving it to my daughter. <laughs> like, I'm going to give it away, right? <laughs> yeah, she, was, she made it for my little Emma, and she was super excited to make it for her. Yeah, super fun. Yeah, so I'm going to pick it up a little bit because now I'm going to start kind of painting the edges. This is kind of where it gets messy. So I might get a little paint on me. I'm not a, not a particulate, uh, articulate uh, crafter. I am messy. I'm messy too. How about yeah. you guys? Are you guys messy? Messy crafter or neat crafter? But the cool thing, Crystal, we're in this really small space. Yes. And so that's one of the things I love about Magnolia and the projects is that you really don't need... A huge setup. I mean, many of you would love to have a huge craft room or crafting barn, but all you need is a kitchen counter or a kitchen table, right? Yeah, that's where it's, we are right now. Yeah, <laughs> getting it done. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna need a little bit more paste. Thank I have you. my little beads flying my all over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll get them out of the way for Thank you. Thank you. The stencil we're working on today is all about laundry. Doing laundry now. Laundry is one of my favorites because it's the easiest. Um, and speaking of laundry, mm -hmm. do you guys sort lights and darks? I do. Like, one of my things, I have two different hampers. So I put all the lights in one, darks in another. I don't like to mix them. Um, and 
I fold stuff right away as soon as it comes out. <laughs> well, I don't really fold anything. I hang everything up. I hang even my t-shirts. Everything is hung up because I don't like to fold, really. Um, you know what's worse for me? Mopping. Bethany, laundry. Laundry, yeah. <laughs> Crystal said she doesn't like laundry. But you have four people in your household. That's a lot. Man, Especially and kids, the, littles. You know what gets to you? No. When you do a fresh pile of laundry and you go put it up in your kid's room and you find it back in the dirty laundry. All the time. All the time. That's why I cannot keep up. I'm not kidding. Oh, man. It is so bad. If my husband's watching right now, he knows what I'm talking about. I hope he's doing the laundry while I'm gone. So funny. And can you relate to that? Like, I remember, you know, when my daughter was growing up, same thing. I would put her clothes in her room and all of a sudden I'm like, how is this back in the laundry? Just wash it and still fold it, like, in the basket because she didn't put her stuff in yes, or yes. whatever. That yep. is funny. I have that all the time, all the time. We are almost done painting this guy. Comment your least, I'm sharing this. So sprinkle a lot, let some other people hey, hey. join us today. We're having some fun. We are um, having so much fun. I'm having fun. Me too. What is Me? your least favorite, what is it, household task? Household chore. Household chore. Chore, chore, Chores. dreaded word. Um, yeah. Comment that below and let us know. <laughs> Perfect. This is looking really good. It's like hard to believe it was just a natural, a natural piece of piece wood. Of wood. Huh? Yes. Yeah. So then it's going to get fun because we still have to sand it a little bit and distress oh. it. So fun. Okay. So we have all of our sides and our front painted. It was quick. It was pretty quick and it's actually almost dry. So lucky here. So here's where we're at right now. So I'm going to give this one just a minute or two to dry. And remember that messy crafter? Yes, everywhere. Everywhere. I'm just going to rub it in now. All right. So now what I'm going to do while I'm waiting for the paint to dry on here is I have some jute and I have some really like natural beads here. And what these are going to do, it's going to be like our little hanger right at the end. But now I'm going to show you guys just how I was doing it. So um, a really good tip that I've always had with working with jute or with beads is you put just a little piece of tape right on the end and you can put it through the beads super easy. And the jute doesn't fray, it doesn't go anywhere. It's super exciting. That's a neat tip. Yes. And what are you going to do with the jute beads once you get it done? So it's going to be the hanger on the top, but I don't want the natural look of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the foam brush and I'm going to distress these a little bit too. Look at that. See? Changing it all up. Changing it up. Making a laundry sign. Even though I don't like laundry. But that's okay. So I have a little knot that I've tied on the end. And unfortunately, I didn't bring the staple gun with me to California. Who does that, right? So we're going to try to glue it on the back. But if I was home, I would totally put a few staples in the back of this once we're all done to secure it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of paint and I'm just going to put them on the beads. It kind of takes away the natural look. Some people, when they do this, um, they put them into a little baggie beforehand with a little bit of paint and you can kind of shake it up with like a sandwich bag, and it paints the beads for you. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Have you ever done that? How do you paint your beads? I want to know. Comment. Let's see. Some what... people um, have little okay. skewers too, like little skewer sticks. Did oh, they put cute. them on there? Today, I'm just messing my hands up. That's, that's all. Oh, hey, Beverly's saying hello. Oh, hello. Great tip. Okay, some of you guys are watching. Let's see. Some people don't like to do windows. Oh, you know, mm -hmm. I agree there. Yeah, so Lynn is saying they just throw them on the floor. Yep. <laughs> yes, they do. Okay. So Chrissy doesn't like dusting furniture. Interesting. I don't mind dusting. I use those um, Swiffer dusters are cool because they get in all the crevices mm. and they just like are like a magnet and suck up the dust. Oh, I do like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of paint with a napkin and I'm going to just roll them. That'll get a little bit more, but it also... Oh, wow, that's really covering them all. Yes. 
I don't know. I'm impressed. How about you guys? What do you think? It's super. I would have easy. never even thought to do that either. And it's so cute. It's going to match it. I, I like the look of the whitewash look. It's kind of like a whitewash look. Yes. Yeah, you're getting lots of hearts on that one. Oh, thank you. Lots of hearts on that. <laughs> I love it. All right, we are almost done with this one. So fun. I do want to give a shout out to Miss Liz Mullen. Yesterday, <laughs> I got to see her at the event with the Boho Rainbow, and she was the teacher of the class. And, you know, it's kind of overwhelming when you have, like, the three of us in there with you and you're teaching. And she did such a great job. I was so impressed. And I had so much fun last night. It was so fun. We made the pen and banner and met some new friends. Yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So. That's, that's one of the best parts about getting together, too, like doing projects. Like, we're having fun doing this together with you watching. Mm -hmm. But how fun is it to just grab a few friends and pick a project and do it together around your kitchen table? Or we actually did it in a church hall. Mm -hmm. And, you know, your creator can help you do that. And if you're the organizer of the class and project, you can get some free and discounted products, so make sure you talk to your creator about that. And, you know, you were talking about us being here, but maybe mm -hmm. some of the people watching don't even know who we are. Do we? I don't think we introduced ourselves, do No. We? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm Crystal, co-owner of Magnolia Design Co. And this is Kathleen, yeah. VP of our sales, and she is so amazing. I want to see those hearts if you think that she's amazing. Stop. See, they're coming in. No. See, they're coming in. They, they agree. They agree. I love it. Okay, so I have the natural beads. Can you guys see these? These are turned white now. And so then, cute. now what I'm going to do is I have, I already opened it. This is the Waverly Wax. It's in a brown color. And this is how I distress. And a lot of people distress a lot of different ways. So for me, I take just a regular foam brush here and I just dip the very tip of my foam brush. Can you guys see that? Just the very tip of it. And what I do is I just simply swipe. So I'm gonna start on the corners because we're gonna distress. This guy is pretty much dry now. And we're going to go ahead and distress. So, as you can see, I just kind of go about an inch or so with my distress. I can use the front and the back. And then I'm going to go back over it just a little. Because usually at the beginning you get a little bit more than you do at the end, right? Because it's all loaded onto your brush. Looks good. And how about you guys watching? You know, this took super quick to dry. Are you like an impatient craft or a patient? Like, I'm always want to move on so quick. I don't wait for things to dry. You take you, a hair dryer, huh? Take a hair dryer or something to it or want to speed it up. I don't mind it. I don't mind waiting, but sometimes I am impatient for sure. So now I'm just kind of going over the corners of this guy, especially around the front. We're gonna give that just a second to dry. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the beads at the same time. Oh, so you're gonna distress those too. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at how cute this looks. So you just kind of brush it on and then they just roll as you're doing it. So you don't always get the same spot. So you just antique them just a little. And the cool thing about this is that you can't really mess it up because it's just wherever it lands, it lands. Yes. And that's the beauty of it, right? Yeah, well, that's what you just stressed, right? You like the vintage old style kind of look. There's no right or wrong way. I got a little bit on my hand, so I'm going to wipe those off. Okay, so we got those. Now, what I do is I take just a regular kind of sanding brush, and then I'm just going to go around it a little bit. It kind of gives it that distress mark. If you don't like the look of, like, your brush strokes, then you can also go over the top of it and then it makes it like a clear um really smooth finish so i'm just gonna it's gonna be a little bit loud for a second <laughs> but i'm just going to distress it oh look at that and it takes the brush marks like it takes the brush marks right off can you guys see that i guess you can can we yeah, yeah, I I come back a little bit it. 
Here, I'm going to turn it. I always love learning new techniques like this. Do you? Yeah, I do. So thank you for well, you're welcome. taking time to show new techniques, you know, because what's so cool about our stencils in the products we sell is that they can be really used to enhance any project that you're working on. Yes. I and this is such a neat it. idea. So I'm just going to go over the middle now. Because I like some brush strokes, but I don't like too many brush strokes. You guys are hearing me sand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take it. And I have some dust here that I'm just going to clear off. Arlo loves the look too, so. Ooh, perfect. Okay, so here is our distress look so far. Can you guys see that? Let me try to get you a little bit closer. It's kind of that rustic -y vibe. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our stenciling. So again, we're using that laundry stencil. We're going to put it on the top here. So if you guys have never stenciled before, they are sticky. It's like a big sticker. You don't want your backings to be able to touch, but you want to kind of roll your finger. Once you do that, it's going to come off what we call its backer sheet. Okay. And it's a big stencil. Now, we sell a thing called a tacky towel, and it takes a little bit of fiber off. Right now, I do not have my tacky towel, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna step back, and you guys can see me put it on my pants. So this is gonna take the fibers from my pants and put it on the stencil itself. Why we do this is because when you put it on your surface and you go to lift it up before you're done, you don't want it to stretch and you don't really want to be tugging to get it off of the surface. So, I'm going to do this probably just one more time. Everybody's laughing at me, huh, because I'm using my pants. Okay. <laughs> Somebody asked, um, do we need to wax it first? So, some people do, but I don't. Um, if at the end I'm comfortable with my project and there's nothing else that I want to do with it, I'm going to spray it with a clear poly acrylic spray, and then that'll kind of seal it in for me. But with me, I never use wax. Some people do. So if you feel that it's something that you want to do and you want to use, then you can. Um, a lot of people use the wax because it kind of crisps the lines, but I have honestly never had an issue on a wood surface with our stencils. Okay, so I'm going to move this over. What I'm doing now is I'm just kind of lining it up on the plaque itself. I can kind of feel the grooves, but I want to try to get it as close to the top as I can because I also want to use quite a bit of the bottom if I can. What do you think about that, Kathleen? I think that looks good. Think so? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to stick her down. So now what I'm doing is I'm pushing the stencil to the surface and making sure I don't have any humps, bumps, little bubbles, just because the paste that we're going to be using will go under that surface and bleed a little, and we don't want that. Have you done that before? Yeah. Multiple times for me. <laughs> Multiple times. That's where I get impatient, is sticking it and feeling it. I always get impatient. And even if you don't like laundry, won't this make you happy looking at it, knowing that you made it? Right. You say, I made that? Yeah, well, it's going to go in my laundry room. Maybe it'll give me some inspiration to do them or something. But I like what it says here, <laughs> self-service. Self-service. Meaning that everybody's <laughs> responsible for taking care of their own. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I have a sample black, coal black. Chalk paste is what we're going to use today. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it. And I have this little plastic dish that I tend to use all the time. Now you can simply put this right on your squeegee. But for today, since I'm using a lot of the sample paste, I'm just going to go ahead and put it into the container. This project we're making today is about one household chore that you might love or hate is doing laundry. And we were just talking about it. Crystal doesn't like it because she's got mm -mm. four littles. I love it. Um, mm -mm. I don't know why. I just... Mm -mm. No, it's easy. Just not at all. In, take it out. Not at all. No. Mine is laundry for sure. See, Renee, I'm not the only one here. <laughs> not the only one. Dishes. I, I'm I'm so so with dishes because I have a dishwasher. So 
I'm like one of those people who just oh, like I... throw their dishes into the dishwasher even without washing them off. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. <laughs> My husband, when we were first dating, he knew I hated doing dishes. And he said, don't worry, I'll always do the dishes. He loves doing dishes. So, oh. I, you know, I got a good one out there. He does the dishes. But Cleaning the um, I hate doing dishes too because they're always there. Like Dusty. you do dishes and you do them and I don't know about your house, but like Five minutes later, there's another dish in the sink. See, I like Carla's comment. It takes forever to do the laundry. Now, doing the laundry is not the hard part. Like, I will put it in the washer. I will put it in the dryer. But when it comes to much more than that, <laughs> no. I just can't do Hanging it. Hanging up. Hanging up. And then it, it ends up back in the laundry. I got two kids. They never do anything. They put it away. They don't. Oh, it's bad. Okay, so moving on to our projects. You have a squeegee. This is a mini squeegee, and I had a little bit of paste on there, but I wanted to show you guys. It has a little ramp, and that's where I load my paste down to, and when I squeegee, I squeegee with the ramp going towards the project, okay? So I'm just taking a little bit of paste. A little paste goes a long ways. Keep coming back for more, and I'm just going to do the entire sign in black. So I am just squeegeeing down the paste. I'm embarrassed to say something right now, uh -oh. but I'm going to say it anyway. Okay. Do I just it. learned something about the angle. I did. What? I never loaded it up that way. Really? I. So you know what I also like? Here's another tip. On the back side, if you were to go the other way, it picks up the excess paste. So one way you could put the paste on, the other way it loads it off. Always learning something, right? Comment below. Do you always learn something every time you watch somebody do something different? I do. I do too. I do. I pick up on techniques. I pick up on inspiration. That's, I think, the biggest one for me is I'll watch somebody and they'll come up with this like crazy idea and I'm like, that is not going to look good. All of a sudden, <laughs> beautiful. Like, I just, I, I'm not, I don't have that gift most of the time. It's like trust the process, right? It's like yeah. you, somebody sees the vision that you can't see, right? And yeah. hopefully we're inspiring you today with some of the techniques and tips we're showing. I love that Crystal showed you how to distress your sign and your board. And now we're making it a really cute DIY home decor piece. And yes. so fun to make with friends. And we're glad that you are the friends that are here joining us. Yes. So I make it. I'm super excited. I'm excited you're my friend and I get to be here. I know, me too. <laughs> We're having so much fun, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> I love the ramp. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't know the ramp. How many of you learned the tip about the ramp for the first time today? <laughs> I mean, seriously. I think it's so much fun. Okay, so I need your opinion, Kathleen. Are okay. you ready to give it to me? Yeah. Okay, so you know my vision for this project. Right. Do I do the dots or do I leave the dots? Because I feel like I'm going to cover them up. I would just leave them because you're going to cover them up. Okay. Okay. See? I don't know. What is that? Well, they don't know what the vision they is. They don't know the vision yet. So you're going to stick around and see the finished product because there's more to it than just what we're showing you already. We have a couple more we steps We have a couple more surprises. <laughs> surprises. Okay. So I have covered my project, what I want to use. That's the beauty of the stencils. If there's a piece of the stencil that you don't want in your project, just don't chalk it. Don't ink it. And you just leave it alone. So you can tell that this stencil has kind of, um, what do you call those? Little a lines, a border. There you go. On the corners. But I didn't want to use those because it was going to kind of come off of the surface. Okay? And then I didn't want to use the dots because we're going to cover them up with something yeah. really cool. Fun. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lift it up. So with this, I either like to go side to side or top to bottom. Once you're kind of tugging diagonally you're stretching the stencil and next time you use it maybe it'll start bleeding because you're stretching it yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lift it up thank you for the extra finger oh my goodness look at how cute okay that's my favorite part yeah Heal and reveal I love it when it comes off and it looks so cool so I got that in the sink we're gonna wash that here in just a few minutes okay you guys ready to see this part Okay. So cute. Here's that laundry sign that we have so far. We're still going to do a little bit of work to it. We don't want to like overdo it. And you know, if, if I didn't already have an idea, I'd probably leave it here, but we're just going to keep going with it. 
How many of you guys are having fun? Should we keep going? <laughs> or we're boring you? Because we're excited. <laughs> we have been hanging out all day long and we're we're very excited to be here with you guys. So we remember earlier, distressed our beads, painted them from a natural, okay, over here. And what I'm gonna do is let me see if I can just kind of hold it for you guys. Kathleen, give um, me a hand here. Might as well be useful rather than just Look, standing around. So we're going to kind of secure it with those beads up at the top. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys like that look? Do you want to hold it and I can glue it? Or what do you want to do it um, night or what I'm going to let it dry for just okay. a second. So what I'm going to do now, and that's going to be our almost our final project. So I'm going to kind of move this out of the way. But what we're going to do now is we got closed pins. Now, how many of you guys, when you do laundry, because, you know, I don't like laundry, <laughs> lose socks? I lose the socks all the time. I can never find the matches. It's horrible, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to super, we're going to glue our little clothespins to the bottom of our sign so we can do the socks. We can always hang up some socks. So I have my little trusty glue gun here, and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. We're going to use probably four of these. Lots of people lose socks, too. Do they? they? go to sock heaven, Christine says. <laughs> I don't know about that. And if you comment below that, we're going to um, enter. Oh, look at how cute that is. So there's one. So I'm thinking I'm going to do four. So like two on the ends and like two like between the words. How cute is that? So like you could just literally hang the missing sock there so when somebody goes to get their socks, they... Yes can find it hanging there. Awesome, look at Peggy likes it. She says, Bonnie's commenting laundry is her least favorite. Tammy's thinking it's awesome. Giving Thank us, you. so you can give us some, some hearts, some stars, some likes, some sprinkles. Some sprinkles. And you know what, if you know somebody who doesn't like to do chores, share this with them. Maybe they, Maybe uh, they'll get some inspiration, inspiration. to do their chores. <laughs> <laughs> well, but let's face it, really, do you like to do anything? Like, no. I think we should change the conversation a little bit. Who loves, like, Loves to do stuff. Like some people, you like, know, some people love to clean. I know. My, uh, uh, I wish I had a little bit of what they had. Yeah. My stepmom little... loved to clean always. Oh. I said, have at it. I used to love when they used to come live with me for the summer because she would keep oh, my, um, no. house clean because she just loved to clean everything. I'm like, and I am one for all like community living. Like I think extended family should all live together because it just helps with the chores, don't you think? Anybody else in the same camp? I like having people around. Yeah. I do. You know, sometimes I, I, I'm not a good organizer um, at all. My little sister will come over and she will organize my house Everything. for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It drives her crazy. <laughs> She'll come in she's like, you have your towels with your hand towels, with your sheets, with your blankets. And there's no organization. I'm like, I'm not it's in the door, right? It's, it's in that door. <laughs> we all have special gifts, right? <laughs> so what is your gift? Like, you know, comment below. Let us know. Um... We're having too much fun. We today. are having too much fun. That looks really cute. We got one more to do. One more. Yep. I'm gonna try to put it on the outside here. And Super then cute. our stencil paste has dried. So then we're gonna start working on the back side. This is so how many of you are gonna do this type of project? I, I think I'm actually gonna do the exact like ah. I might get a bigger board, I think. I wish it was just a little bit bigger because I would have liked to put the clothespins like right on the bottom. But I didn't want to put them on the bottom because I felt like it was, um, like I wanted the the border. Like I wanted the backing of it to to do the look. This is does so good. And how did you get them all even? Ah, I just eyeballed these you little silver things. Just make sure the She's silver She's so talented. Things look Isn't together. she talented? Don't you love watching her? She's such a cutie. I just have so much fun with you. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. <laughs> All so right. Cute. Do you guys want to see it so far? We put our clothespins on. I have four different clothespins. Let's get that up close for you. Now, I personally would not have ever thought of that. See? There goes your socks. I'm not going to take off my sock to put it on here, though. See? Super cute. <laughs> I'm having a grand old time today. Okay. So now that I did this part... I feel okay with turning it over because my stencil is dry. These are very dry and they're very secure. Okay, got it. I'm just going to be very careful because I'm going to turn it on the back side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the beads on as a little hanger, but I need to tie this part. 
in a knot and a few knots. And then I'm going to glue them. If I was home, I would staple gun them because it's just a little bit more secure. Well, we can actually, if you, when you take it home, you can staple it. I yes. Guess. All right, here's that sign one more time before we turn it upside down. How many of you guys are excited about this so far? Super cute. Jen said, I'm so glad I caught the live. Well, we're excited that everybody is here. I think we're having a grand all time. So you guys remember how I bought this at the dollar, five dollar, three dollar. I don't even know what to call it anymore. I know it's still called the Dollar Tree, but like, how can you call it the Dollar Tree when it's not a dollar? I don't know. Or I mean, is it Dollar General? No, it's the Dollar Tree. And they call it the Dollar 25 Tree because nothing is a dollar now. But then they have, they actually have some really cool stuff since they like upgraded from the Dollar Tree. And it's like three and five dollar items. Okay, so I wanted to take that sticker off because nobody likes the stickers, right? So what I'm going to do is remember our beads from earlier. You guys can kind of see a little bit of the distressing of it. Dollar plus. Oh, is that what they're going to name it? Dollar plus. Yeah. Dollar plus. Okay, so I'm going to kind of move it just a little bit, and I feel like I'm going to burn my fingers, but that's also okay. And I'm going to put just a big blob of glue for this side. Again, if you have a staple gun, I highly recommend the staple gun. Instead, I'm going to take the little paintbrush, and I'm going to hold it down so yeah. I don't burn my fingers. I use those little silicone. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, the little thumb. I don't even know thimbles. where I got them. I got mine at the Dollar Tree and they're yeah. super pink. Yeah. Super pink. Yeah, mine is pink too. Hey, maybe you got them there. Maybe. Probably. Okay, so I'm going to give that a second to dry. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to eyeball. To see my well, you can actually to follow here. the grain of the wood probably mm -hmm. as a guide. In the corner? Yeah. So it should be about right here. Yeah. So yeah. when I do it, then you have the sign here. But what I want to do is I've got to tie a few knots here at the very end, and I'm going to trim it up. Because we had a lot of jute. Are you guys having a good time with us today? I think they're, are they having fun? Yes, let's oh, see. Oh, squeegees work great squeegees. for Squeegees, oh that's good too. Yes, I love I'm giving it just a second to dry, and then I'm going to kind of pull it up a little bit so you guys can see what we've done. But we are not done yet. Almost. Almost to the ending. What we're going to do is I've got a little bit of greenery. I love greenery. And I made this little bow. And he's super cute. And we're going to put him on the beads. I think that would be know. cool. I think it would be cool. Cute. And, you know, are you like me? Like, I don't throw anything away. Like, if I would have had, like, maybe mm -hmm. an old potted plant or something that looks kind of haggard, I would save these because you could never know when you're going to use it for another project, right? Are you like that? No do you guys do that? Pulled this off of? No. All of this. <laughs> all See, of so this. that's where it came from. Yeah. And I, I always like save it. all the bows and packaging if I ever get anything. Yes. I always pull them off because it's so good to repurpose them and Why use not? them for different things, right? Why not? Yeah. Have you guys do that too? Yeah, this was kind of like um, all a bunch together. And I had it in like an old... Um, tiny like milk jug like a yeah. small one oh, okay and i was literally walking out the door to come here and i'm like <gasps> plucked him out of you. there plucked him out of there and said that would be cute for my sign and i had to do it greenery always adds a little bit of life and color to projects yeah but i also sometimes just like the simplicity of playing with no embellishments um i wonder if our friends watching are you an embellishment you like the more on it the better like some people are like it has to have more yes it has to have less so let's mm. see how I don't know. I'm more of a less. And I don't tend to venture out with colors. Like, I love the brown, white, and black look. Just natural, yes. neutral. Yes, yes. But sometimes if yeah. it's like a really eccentric, like fun project, then I'm like, oh yeah, more colors the better. But most of the time, I really like the distressed, farmhousey, very browns and, and blacks. Yes. Rustic. Yes. yes. So you're a country girl. Yes, I I'm am. I'm a beach girl, California. <laughs> Okay, okay, this yeah. is dry. Is it dry? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to lift it up so you guys can kind of see. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. There you go. Could have made the jute a little bit bigger for it. And I, we might go back and do that. They're saying, I love the embellishments. So what I originally thought was I was going to kind of put the greenery 
and the bow on like the top here. Yeah. And so it would be kind of like, uh, let's see if I can do it from here, kind of like that. But then I had the clothespins and the laundry was so a little bit, you know, taller up. Then I decided that I'm going to put it on the middle of the beads on the top. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it on the top or on the beads? I'm thinking more the beads. They like embellishments. Some say if there's extra space to do it. I kind of... Oh, I don't know. You're going to have to make that call. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, I don't so know. So cute. What are they saying? So adorable with the bow. So do they put the bow on the board or bow on the beads? Okay. On the beads. Carol on says the on the beads. beads. On the beads. Yeah, because um, I feel Carla like... Carla says beads. Let me see. On the beads. I'll show you Danielle guys. says on the beads. So this... Oh, but now I like it on the board. I you know. look at how it looks on the board. Okay, so this oh, is kind of like... Oh, it would board. be... Charlotte says it's a board. Beads. Okay, those are the boards. On the beads, so it's not so crowded. And now, all of a sudden, everyone's saying on the board. And then this is what it would look like with, like, on the beads. Beads, beads. beads is still getting the winning, um, <laughs> the winning thing. But I think it's on the board. Peggy, I'm with you. I think the board. But Crystal gets to decide. It's her project. So what are you going to do? Know. Most I people, know. now they're all saying on the board. I kind of liked on the board after I did it, too. But I still like the beads and being able to be like hung up too. And Renee Kate says you don't need the bow. She oh, probably leave it off. You like it off, huh, Renee? Yeah. Um, Shauna says the boards. And if I didn't say your name, I apologize because it goes so fast I can't see it. So I just don't want you to think I'm she like sliding you. You know, on. right? <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be real. <laughs> She just doesn't have glasses on right now. No, I'm trying on the board. Margaret says on the board. Amy says, I like, love how it is. She didn't tell <sighs> the bow where it is. On the sign. Terry says on the sign. I feel like they're leaning more towards the sign. Yeah, well, it's really shifted once you showed it on the board. Okay. okay. Most just like doing laundry. Sierra says that. So this is a good project for you. Less is good. Perfect. Um, still on the beads. Carol Ann is still saying on the beads, but. On the beads. Okay. I'm going to go for the board. Yeah. I did think that the beads, and I think I probably would have done the beads if my jute was a little longer. I think I cut it a little too short. Sure. Mm -hmm. And you know what the beautiful thing is? You're watching. When you make your project, you can put it where you want, right? Because there are no or rules. Don't. We encourage creativity. Yes, we and do. And just positivity, creativity. Doing it your own way, right? Having fun. That's what it's about for me. I almost feel like we're like on the morning show or something. Like we should be like on the talk show. Do you think Crystal and I should, like, <laughs> go on the road and, like, uh, do, like, a... We should reach out to, like, Crafty HGTV second. DIY, and we hey, should be hey. doing a DIY class on um, some national channel. <laughs> no, we could not. We could not be together. <laughs> We're getting lots of hearts for that one. They're oh, like, I love oh. it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it no. is Win It Wednesday, guys, okay, and we are hanging out. We are having a grand old time. And then um, Jen says, yes, no rules with Magnolia, right? Yes. How fun. <laughs> we are having fun. Yeah. We're having The Cat and Crystal Craft Show. <laughs> the Cat and Crystal Craft Show. Definitely wrote show. That's All right, so who knows? Maybe you've inspired us. Maybe we should do some things together. <laughs> we'll just have to travel. We, we just, you just have to travel. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it looks so cute. Wait, do you guys see? Okay, I think so. I was moving the greenery around just a little bit. And what I, I like about it is that it's, it is, um, no, I don't think so. I like that it kind of okay. hangs over. Maybe you guys will have to look at it. Look at all the hearts we're getting. People are loving it. Okay. Love it. Um, okay. Oh, okay, I'm going to leave it alone, but I really want to trim those tails. But I think it's a little much. Okay. I'm going to fluff my little bows because they're so cute. They are so cute. Okay. okay. Are you guys ready to see it? <sighs> dun, 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 dun. Dun. Yay! Oh, look at it. <laughs> what do you guys love? love it. Let me see if I can get a little closer. I'm short, so I'm going to be on my tippy toes. So dog. cute. Oh, Lots dun, of hearts. Dun. Everybody's loving it. Loving it. Good. I'm so excited that you guys love it. Oh, look at all the hearts. Whoa, those are a lot of hearts, Mary. Thank you. <laughs> Nikki loves oh, it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, Here we okay. Go. And um, 
So fun. And you know what? This was a project that you had to be a little creative, right? You had to yes. get the board and do it. Yeah. Get the stencil. But you know what? We have kits already together. If you don't like to have to come up with the creativity part, uh, we can send you a surprise craft club kit every month. We do really appreciate you guys being on here with us. I know we've yeah. been on for a minute, but remember our laundry yeah. sign. Maybe this will give me some inspiration. Who knows, right? You did a great job. Give her a lot of applause. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Well, thank you very much. All right. We're excited to be here with you guys today. We're going to go have some more fun. Yeah. I leave tomorrow. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Thanks Bye. so much. Bye. Bye, everyone. I can't can you reach, reach it. No. <laughs> I can reach. Bye, everybody. Bye.